I'm almost ready to see. I'm almost ready to dance. I'm almost ready to let you hear me, but understand. This song is about patience, and it's about a survivor advocating for the space that she needs to say what she needs to say. And it's one of the first songs in the show and it sets an immediate boundary with the audience of I am going to tell you something important but you have to wait for me to be ready and I think that's so important for anyone who's struggling with something they need to heal from. What I hope people learn from this song is to be patient. That's all. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> It'll be fine. Isabel on the Runaway Train is a contemporary jazz folk musical that serves as a platform to discuss the challenging and painful topics of mental health and sexual maltreatment. And it sounds a whole lot like it's true If you learn to forget all you knew before Why are we all on this train? The healthy survival mechanisms turn into unhealthy coping mechanisms. Um, so yeah, just, I guess, I don't know if anyone's going to learn that from the song, but that's like the hope that they would realize, like, oh, you can't really repress for too long. And yeah. You have to feel your feelings, and that's the only way to move on. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Through guided viewings of the July 2018 premiere in Austin, Texas, 90-minute response training workshops, and full productions of the Isabel Script and Score, Isabel programs create healthy survivor supporter relationships. <laughs> it's the moment right after the train hits when all that you can think is how could this and they tell you it happened to tell you it happened, you're fine, dear. So why can't I look in the mirror? I want to I see hope that people is. learn that it's okay not to be okay and that every moment of grief, every moment of hardship, of sadness, any sort of emotion that might we might not want to confront is um, the one-way ticket to growth and the one-way ticket to healing and um, loving yourself and being others being supportive of you. sings because they have run out of new music. They are constantly adapting it and the song represents the denial that we feel as passive bystanders and the false application of living in the present to uh, be when it's used to avoid the past. So it's a very happy song, a uh, very silly song, but it has very sad lyrics. Place here and now I hope that you say things, people learn that parents are real people because it sometimes feels like when you are a parent or when you have parents that they have like this super all-knowing like thing going on. The parents have a struggle too um, and kids need to understand that because uh, a lot of parents go through a sort of situation with their children where they don't discuss with them how they're feeling. But empty is just all this huge beautiful vulnerability that the parents kind of get to have and show that they need just as much healing and time 
as their kids do. And so children need to be able to feel comfortable talking to their parents not only about their own problems but what their parents are going through too and have those shared experiences. And so this song is a kind of a breakthrough for the parents. That, you know, the superhero cape of being a parent kind of comes off and that it's okay to be a human and a parent at the same time. Let the Light In is a celebration. It's victory over an abuser. It is uh, a character finally getting what she deserves, which is people rallying around her and singing with her. It's a song about hope. It's a song about people, uh, people being people and supporting each other and letting people get out of the comfort zones a little bit and become something better. Let the light in means finally being able to express myself and having the freedom to say what I wish I could have said the whole time. It's about how honesty is the first step to present living. So there's a line that says, to leave it in the past, I need a looking glass to let the light in. A lot of people give advice to people who've been through bad things to say, leave that in the past. We can't put something behind us if we're not honest about it first. statement of courage when a survivor can share their story and how important it can be for those around them to really understand where they're coming from and believe them in their story. From the song Believe Me, I hope people can learn that it is best to first listen before you try to understand. Listening is the first step and then working together is the second step. Something tells me not to run away from all the things you say. Feeling it can happen, it can happen to you. Hope you're not broken, okay. you To me, don't healing have... really highlights the importance of the support and the love from those around you during the recovery process and how valuable um, their understanding can be. In the song Healing, I hope people learn that healing does take time and recovery is a long and winding road, but it is something that's achievable and don't lose hope. When I was born, the stages crumbled. My life was not one to be used. The curtains fell. Um, the uh, crumble is that moment where uh, everything that is ever built up for her is crumbling down. Hello, the name of the song is called Crumble. Um, <laughs> even though she feels that the world is is falling, that this is a, what she needs to rise and it's what she needs to break through all that. And this is sort of the breakthrough moment for her. She's going throughout the entire musical, asking questions, wondering what's going on, trying to figure everything out for herself, the world that she's in, and this is that moment of clarity. Okay, my 
My bad, bro. Let's do one more. I love you, Isabel. My darling, can't you tell? I love you, Isabel. You are always free. I just want to be free. song between a uh, father and his daughter and they have a bond through music and so it's really important that they're connecting in this way um, and I think that that's the most important thing to get out of any relationship that you have with somebody is not just to communicate with them but how to communicate with them and that's what I really loved getting out of this piece was their interaction but something that I really hope that people get out of this is uh, to open that channel of communication um, and talk because that is how the healing process begins. I can't make you happy when you are scared. I can't make you trust me. Can't make life better. This song is a beautiful release of control um, to provide healing because I think a lot of times people think healing is this linear non-complicated thing but it is super complicated and I can't make it better just as like this huge admission to say like I am unable to fix all of your problems and all of your emotions but I can be here along your journey and along your healing process and I just think that it's beautiful to admit like you know defeat to control and like allow the universe to just like let you Find your healing on your own. I don't I actually just want to cut it because I kind of liked it with the black. That was there. <laughs> <laughs> like a... Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's also... <laughs> so you got to fill out your space from left to right, and then you got to fill out your space in the room. The instrument is farther in the back a tuba, uh, a double bass, uh, even trumpets, trombones. It's going to have more air to it, so it's going to have a little bit. Um, more uh, lightness to it uh, than maybe the strings that are right up front because you're going to want the delicacies and you're going to want to hear the the semblance inside the strings uh, as well so the same thing with voices clearly like there's some choral elements but also there's the main characters and then there's the characters that are or are, are at the front just like you know you would a, a lead instrument editing those together where they take uh, definitely the main stage if you will um, and making the focus of well, everything else is accompanying it, including voices or what, what have you. Um, but also, you know, not overdoing it on trying to make it perfect. Like, it's, it's supposed to be live music. It's supposed to be live art. So we're also telling a story. You know, the edge to the voice, a little bit of the raspiness, a little bit of the notes that might venture out of, out of space. Um, it just it makes you believe it. This is where it stopped and started. It's not where it ends. You are how I come and go, but you don't know how it went.
playwright and educator Anna Westbrook. You can learn more about Isabel at isabelontherunawaytrain.org. You can download the Isabel album through your favorite music streaming provider. Underscored by this chord. But I kid you not, my freshman year of a music uh, ear training class, mm -hmm. the professor I took it with uh, would describe this chord as the chord in the uh, silent films in the old days when somebody was tied to a railroad yeah. track. Yeah. <laughs> 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 or, or he would say, You must pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> 